then how do i improvise my algorithm how do i improvise my searching technique i will call this as lower bound and i'll call this as upper bound upper bound plus lower bound divided by 2 you cannot insert any value so that is what they say so lower bound and upper bound should not be equal Hello everybody I welcome all of you to the second session on data structure 1 linear list so guys what is that i have in this session i have some of the important beautiful algorithms for all of you which i will be tracing for all of you in detail right so guys without wasting much of your time let's start it guys what is that i will be discussing in today's session so i will be discussing about the binary search algorithm so why are you uh, discussing this binary search algorithm if you just teach us the concept that is more than enough some of you will uh, tell me but if you know how to trace the algorithm so you will be able to understand how exactly we will be writing the algorithm and you will be able to write your own logic for it you will have multiple logics you can also tell me so we can change the system or we can change the logic like this if we do like this this will be more efficient like this you will be able to give your own logic so only when we trace this in detail you will have that idea right so that is the reason so i will be tracing the concept of binary search algorithm in detail in today's session for all of you right so before that let us understand what exactly the search is all about search in the sense i have the linear array so please understand i have the linear array imagine this is my linear array right so i have stored 10 20 30 40 50 so this is the value that i have stored so in this array i want to search for a particular item let's take a uh, item is equal to 10 so i want to check whether i have 10 or not so i will what i will do i will compare this item with each and every value that i have suppose if i have my item that is the value which i am searching in the beginning so my search will end very soon suppose imagine if i have my search element at the end i have to go through all the values whatever i have in the list this is quite uh, challenging then how do i improvise my algorithm how do i improvise my searching technique so to solve this problem we have a concept called binary search we have a concept called binary search so imagine i have my list something like this 60 70 right so the name of this list is arr let me just write it as arr so this is what i will call it as a beginning this is what i will call it as a end so lower bound upper bound so this is the last so like uh, last value so that is why i will call it as upper bound so this is what i will call it as a lower bound what i will be doing in this binary search what is the technique that i will be using in this binary search please understand i will calculate the mid value i will calculate the mid value what is that mid value upper bound plus lower bound divided by 2 or lower bound plus upper bound divided by 2 so this formula will give me the mid value this formula will give me the mid value please understand imagine i have the mid as 40 yes my mid is 40 here my mid value is 40 what i will be doing is suppose my search element suppose my search element is greater than mid value my searching element is greater than mid value because all my elements whatever i have in this list should be in ascending order should be in a sorted order okay so that is the reason i am considering this condition suppose if my mid value is greater than is greater than the item suppose if my mid value is greater than this item in the sense obviously my searching element is less than this mid value right so obviously it should be there within this so i will not search this at all this part i will not search at all what i will be doing so this is lower bound right so my mid whatever i have previous to that i will make it as upper bound only within this 
I have to search now. So whatever the elements that I have, I will not touch at all. Let's think about the other case. Suppose I have the mid value, whatever I have the mid value, mid value is greater than, mid value is greater than the search element now. Mid value is greater than search element. Previously what I did, so my searching element, whatever the item that I wanted to search, that is less than mid value. Now, my item is greater than this mid value. So if my item is greater than this mid value, obviously I should check it here. I should check it in this part, right? My searching item is greater than this mid value, right? So I should check it in this part, then why will I check this part? So what will I do now? I will make this mid as lower bound. I will make this mid as lower bound. So again, I will calculate the mid value. I will be calculating this mid value again and again until I get the item. So this is how my binary search is happening. This is how my binary search is happening, guys. So let us understand this with an algorithm, right? What is that I have here? I have beginning. So I am assigning beginning that is L. That is lower bound to beginning, upper bound to last. Okay. I am checking one condition. Beginning should be less than last. Okay. Obviously, it is true. Okay. When I have a linear list, so beginning will be less than last. Right. When this condition is true, perform 3 to 6. So 3 to 6, I have to perform this step. What does that I have to do? So please understand, I have to calculate the mid value. I have to calculate the mid value. This is the type conversion that I am uh, doing. You don't have to worry about it. So beginning plus last divided by 2 will give you the mid value. So now you have the mid value. So what is the first condition that you will check? Suppose if AR, AR in the sense array name, ARR or AR, whatever you want, you can take. So AR of mid in the sense this mid value is equal to equal to item, whatever I want to check. So if that is there, then search successful. You got the element right away. So you don't have to worry. So item found at the mid, so you can break. You will come out of the loop. You will not check it again at all. Right. So your search is successful. So you got the item in the mid position. Suppose if it is not. If AR of mid, if AR of mid, so whatever the mid value that you have is less than the item. AR of mid, the mid value whatever you have, that is less than the item. In the sense what? Your item is greater than this mid value. Your item, whatever you have, so that is greater than this mid value. So this part, you are not checking at all. What are you doing? Suppose if that is the case, so you have the beginning. So beginning, you are making it as mid plus 1. Beginning, you are making it as mid plus 1. This beginning, you are initializing it to this position. Now your beginning is here. You did not search this part at all. Directly you jumped here because you know that the item, whatever you have, so that is greater than mid. Obviously, it will be here. From here, you need to check. You got my point? So you, you know upper bound is here. Now the lower bound is here. Again, so you will calculate. You will repeat the same step. Again, you will repeat the same step. You will calculate the mid value. So until you get the item, so you will be calculating. You will be performing by calculating the mid value again and again, again and again. You got my point? So you will be inside the loop. You will be inside the loop until you get the item in this part. Suppose this is not the case. You have one more case. Let's go to that case. Suppose if AR of mid, suppose if AR of mid is greater than item. AR of mid is greater than item. So obviously your item should be here. Then what should I do? So I should ignore this part. I will make this as upper bound. This is lower bound. This is upper bound. This part I will not check that all. Check at all. So this is my second scenario. So this is upper bound. This is lower bound. So what I will do instead of making it as a upper bound. So I will make mid minus 1. Please observe here. My last is mid minus 1. From here only this part I will check. So after performing this again I will calculate the mid value. Until I get the element I will be keep on repeating the same step. So guys, this is how I will be checking the values. Suppose if big is equal to last, 
you didn't get at all. Suppose if you get, you will break there itself, you will come out of the loop. Suppose if you come across big is equal to last, that is beginning is equal to last, your pointer, both the pointers joins at the same point, then your search is unsuccessful, there is no element found. This is what you need to understand. This is how your binary search is working for all of you, right? It's very simple. Let's understand it one more time. I have the list. This is lower bound. This is upper bound. I will calculate the mid, okay? So now imagine whatever the item that I wanted to check. So that is present in this part. That is present in this part. In the sense, the item whatever I am searching is greater than mid value then what I will do I will ignore this part okay so my mid will become lower bound and I will have the upper bound for this I will calculate the mid value again for this I will calculate the mid value again again I will check the same thing so whatever the item that I want to check is greater than mid value then if that is the case I will ignore I will ignore this part again this mid I will make it as lower bound so whatever I have, so within this I should get my item. So I will be keep on checking until I get my item. So this is one scenario. Let's check another scenario for all of you. What are the other another scenario that you have? So I'm checking. So what exactly my item is less than this mid. Whatever the mid value that I have, that than the mid value I have my item in this part. What I will do? So instead of this mid, I will make this as upper limit so this is my lower limit this is my upper limit using this i will calculate my mid value so again i will compare my value with the mid value whether it is greater than mid or lesser than mid or whether it is equal to mid so i will be repeating this step again and again until i get my value this is how the binary search is working for all of you right so guys so hope you understood the concept of binary search let's Guys, let us understand how exactly linear insertion list, how exactly we are inserting an element into the linear list is what we are trying to understand now. So let us consider a linear list now. So guys, so this is my linear list. Okay. So this is my linear list. I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay. This is my linear list. So I have the beginning position. I have the end position right so i will call this as lower bound and i'll call this as upper bound suppose what exactly will happen the condition number one so condition number one so in this condition number one so lower bound and upper bound should not be equal if that is equal then i cannot insert any value so the value it will show me that is overflow you cannot insert any value so that is what they say so Lower bound and upper bound should not be equal. Suppose if it is equal, you cannot insert any value. That is the first condition that they explain in the algorithm. So fine. What are the next condition they speak about? Suppose imagine I have 45 or I have a, okay, let's take 45. I want to insert 45 to this linear list. So first they will compare this value. This is what I will call it as an item. First they will compare this value with this value. Suppose this value is lesser than this value let us imagine so let's say i have taken 5 so i want to insert 5 so this value will fit here so whatever the value i have in the first position so that is greater than item so what i will do is i will reset my pointer so whatever i have here so i will shift 50 here so 40 will come here 30 will come here 20 will come here 10 will come here so this place is vacant i will insert the 5 so that is the second condition that I have here. That is the second condition that I have here. What is that I have here? So please observe here. If AR of CTR in the sense, my point is a CTR. So AR in the sense, array name, right? So AR in the sense, array name, CTR in the sense here. So that is greater than item. Whatever the value that I have here, this value is greater than this. So what should I do? So position is equal to 1. So here I want to insert this 5. So for that, please observe here, I have the code I have written which will help me to shift the value down. So shift the value down. So guys, all this value will come down. How exactly it is coming down? I will explain that. 
So just now, as of now, you just have to understand that, right? So that is the second condition that you need to understand. Then what is the third condition that I have? Suppose if this condition is not true, what is the third condition that I have? So please look here. Condition number three. So in this condition number three, AR of CTR is less than item, is less than or equal to item. Please understand, AR of CTR is less than or equal to item and item is less than or equal to AR of CTR plus one. Please remember this line, I will explain that with the example. What will happen in this condition number three? So please come back. What they said is, let's imagine I want to insert 35. I want to insert 35. So first value is not there. So after that, I need to check where exactly this 35 I can fit in. So I can fit in here. I can fit in here. So how do you know that you can fit in 35 here? So for that, you need to satisfy one condition. What is that condition? So this is AR, right? So here CTR, right? This is CTR. So I will write the condition AR of CTR. So AR of CTR is what? 30. So 30 and you want to insert 35. So you want to insert 35. So guys, whatever the value that you have in AR of CTR should be less than item, should be less than item point number one. And so I have AR of CTR plus one, CTR plus one in the sense, this is CTR plus one in the sense 40. So whatever the value that I have here, this should be greater than item. This should be greater than item. So that is what I have written here. So guys, if you get that, so this is the position where you can insert. This is the position where you can insert. Then how will I know? So for that, I will make position is equal to CTR plus one. Position is equal to CTR plus one. So in the sense, in this position, you should insert this 35. You should insert this 35. Fine, you got the location where you want to insert. Then how do you shift the values? So you have this code. This code, this code will help you to shift the value down. This code will help you to shift the value down. How? So please observe this line. So your CTR is initialized to last. From last, you will shift the values. So your CTR is now initialized to last value. From last, you will shift the value, right? So now, how exactly you are shifting? So please observe here. So whatever I have, this is what I will call it as a AR of CTR. This is what I will call it as a AR of CTR. So this value, I will place it in AR of CTR plus 1. So this value is shifting down. This value is shifting down. Again, so this pointer will move up. So this value is shifting down. This value is shifting down. So one value, one value, one value, it will keep on shifting. So until you get this position. So once this position is empty, please observe. So you will place AR of position. So you have placed that AR of position, right? So for that particular position, so you will be inserting the item. So this is how you will be inserting the item using the linear list. This is what you need to understand. With this, I have come to an end of this session. So I have one more algorithm for all of you, which I'll be explaining in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.